Hello, my name is Dave, and my debut album is called Cycle Drum. So the concept of the album is, um, you know, a cycle drum is a form of therapy, and it is just expressing how you feel in whatever way is the most creative to you. Some people act it out, some people sing it out, people find their own different ways, and I think for me, it was just about making a track which in every walk of life just shed some light on me, the person that I am, the scope of the world around me. And I think that um, the album, it, it, it done that for me and the place that I was in just, just got presented to the world. Thank God more, I grew up with less, just to the right, raps to the left. The artwork was um, inspired by, I guess, emotion. A friend of mine, a very talented artist, Tyler Remy, drew it up. But I guess the thought process behind it was emotions and colours. And that is something that I've been pretty big on in music when I've been making it. So my favourite colour is blue, as you can see and imagine. But for me, it was always, what does the colour blue represent? What does the album sound like? What colour does the album sound like? Does it feel angry, rage? Is it red? Is it mellow? Is it... You know, and I think blue was a colour that represented it. And I think that the flaming head image was just a visual representation as to what was going on in my head a lot of the time when I was making the album. So I think that that sort of chaos, the rage and, and the fire inside of me mixed with a sort of sadness and a, a mellow nature came together and made that sort of blue flame, which is, I guess, what goes hand in hand when people think of the album, you think of that blue flame in heaven. It's just about the emotion behind it. If you send me the location, then I'll be right there. I guess making the album meant to me it was about creating a time capsule, speaking about the times that we're in now, the times that I was in when I was making the album, everything around me, and hopefully in five, 10, 15 years, someone could go back and listen to this and understand exactly what was going on in 2019 in London with me, with the people around me. I guess the standout collaborations, there's only three of them. Uh, Ruel is definitely, the, the whole album's based around you know, her, her music and she inspired me from the start. She gave me the sample that um, we used for the intro and the same song we used for the outro. And she came with uh, the second part of Leslie, the child without a name. And obviously, Burner Boy and Jay Huss, it goes without saying, and those are two massive people that I respect highly from our world. Um, but yeah, in terms of the album, the structure of the album, I think Ruel's voice is definitely a driving force behind the musicality of it. So I've got a lot of love for it. If you send me the location, then I'll be right there. Track one, um, it gives you a very, very general view of what the album is going to be like. It cycles through the most moods, and I think that um, it's reflective of the whole album. Some tracks are faster, some are slower, a lot are slower. And I think if I picked any other track, it would be not a fair representation, but Cycle, the first track has it all. Send me the location. This year about vacation. It was great to make the shortlist for this year's Mercury Prize. It's um, it's a massive honor. It's one of the biggest awards in music, and it's all about the music. You know, it's all about one thing. So, it's definitely, definitely a massive honor to be recognized for this award. No time, no. 